On a cloudy day at 27J School District, Superintendent Dr. Chris Fiddler People are, has some gloomy news. They're, they're, they're stressed, they're tired, yeah. Last week, Dr. Fiddler shared with parents the dire staffing shortage the district is in, with more than 100 openings for bus drivers, substitute teachers, and cafeteria workers. If positions don't get filled soon, some schools may have to cut busing, others could return to remote learning, while services like breakfast and lunch could be suspended. So yeah, I mean, we're not unique. I just think we're hit a little harder because we're not able to compete with others around that are in the same situation, specific to school districts, that can pay more. A drive southwest will prove 27J isn't alone. It sucks. It just all sucks. <laughs> Rhonda Hargith is a Jeffco parent and got this email that says starting Monday, bus routes for all Jeffco option schools will be suspended, meaning Hargith will have to leave work every day to pick her son up from school. Thankfully, I have flexible um, bosses that are willing to work with me, but we were looking at having to pull them out. And I imagine that there are a lot of parents that are trying to figure that out and thinking they're going to have to pull them out of these programs. Jeffco tells us they understand parents' frustrations. They're frustrated too. A sentiment 27J also understands. As they hope, winds will change, parents will step up and help, and the dark days will soon be behind them. We get them into our buildings to help support us and our kids. Jalisa Rosari, 9 News. Superintendent Chris Fiddler says there is a mill levy and bond up for a vote this November that he hopes pass. passes. The measures would increase funding for the school district and allow them to pay competitive wages to try and increase staffing at schools.